the philosophical laws of wisdom, as elucidated by ancient philosophers, continue to resonate in our modern world. For those seeking to understand themselves, their fellow beings, and their lives better, these timeless principles provide invaluable guidance. Throughout this exploration, we explore seven profound laws that can illuminate our paths to wisdom and personal growth. The first law implores us to transcend the confines of our comfort zones, emphasizing that the universe is far grander than the familiar cubicles of our daily lives. Aristotle, a towering figure in the world of philosophy, echoed this sentiment when he asserted that the more you know, the more you realize you don't know. It is through this acknowledgement of our limitations that we open ourselves to the infinite possibilities of growth and enlightenment. Developing our wisdom and personal development requires us to go beyond our limitations. Whether through travel or the exploration of new environments, the act of stepping outside our comfort zones provides invaluable opportunities for self-discovery and learning. As we engage with diverse cultures, ideas, and experiences, we not only gain a broader perspective on the world, but also acquire a deeper understanding of ourselves. Aristotle's words remind us that true wisdom lies in acknowledging the vastness of knowledge and embracing the humility to continuously seek it. The second law admonishes us to discern the distinction between wealth and true value, a timeless message further reinforced by the insights of another prominent philosopher, Confucius. Confucius, known for his profound teachings on ethics and human relationships, emphasized that true worth lies not in the accumulation of riches, but in the cultivation of virtues and moral character. He believed that when individuals prioritize the development of their inner qualities, such as integrity, kindness and wisdom, they inevitably lead fulfilling lives and contribute positively to society. It is imperative to recognize that material wealth, while essential to meet our basic needs, should not be the sole measure of our success or happiness. The essence of this law lies in the understanding that money is merely a tool to facilitate our endeavors, rather than a definitive scorecard for life. Rather than pursuing wealth relentlessly, we should refine our intellectual and moral faculties in order to protect our well-being and to improve our sense of purpose. As Confucius wisely noted, our greatest glory is not in never falling, but in rising every time we fall. The third law delves into the profound wisdom of Marcus Aurelius, a Roman emperor and Stoic philosopher. In his seminal work, Meditations, Marcus Aurelius reminds us that true power resides within our minds rather than in external events or circumstances. This stoic principle forms the bedrock of resilience and mental fortitude. In the modern world, where anxiety and stress often loom as silent adversaries, this law's significance has only grown. Acknowledging our limitations and focusing on what we can influence protects our mental well-being and unlocks our potential for profound personal growth. The wisdom embedded in this law extends far beyond mere stoicism. It is a call to embrace the serenity that comes from accepting the ebb and flow of life's unpredictable tides. It reminds us that while external events may be beyond our control, our reactions, thoughts and choices remain firmly within our grasp. By mastering our responses to life's challenges, we cultivate resilience and inner strength. Using this law as a guiding light, we can illuminate the way to a more harmonious, balanced existence, capable of navigating the turbulent seas of life with grace and wisdom. As we heed Marcus Aurelius's counsel, we discover that the true locus of power lies in our minds, offering us a profound sense of agency and control over our lives. The fourth law delves into the notion that genuine strength and intelligence are intertwined with acts of kindness. We find wisdom in the words of Mahatma Gandhi, who stated, you must be the change you want to see in the world. 
These sentiments underline the profound connection between kindness and wisdom. It is not a sign of weakness, but rather a testament to one's understanding of the human condition and the power of empathy. Kindness, as expounded in this law, is not limited to mere politeness or surface-level gestures. It extends to the capacity to extend compassion even to those who may not appear deserving of it. Being kind and transcending judgment is a hallmark of emotional intelligence and deep understanding. Holding on to anger, as this law cautions, is akin to self-inflicted harm, for it corrodes the spirit over time. In a world where hostilities and conflicts often arise, embracing kindness becomes a strategic choice, a wiser approach to navigating the challenges of life. Creating harmonious relationships and making a positive contribution to humanity can not only lead to a more peaceful world, but also to a more fulfilling and enlightened existence. The fifth law celebrates the profound significance of authentic human connections. Cicero's wisdom is complemented by the insights of Ralph Waldo Emerson, a renowned American essayist and philosopher who asserted, the only way to have a friend is to be one. As these words illustrate, genuine friendship requires reciprocity, which is embodied in this law. True friendship transcends mere acquaintanceship and shallow interactions. It emerges when individuals open themselves up, sharing not only their joys, but also their vulnerabilities and sorrows. Cicero's assertion that friendship multiplies joys and divides grief echoes the profound impact of these connections on our lives. True friends become pillars of support, offering solace in times of hardship and companionship in moments of joy. Such bonds are not built on superficiality, but on mutual trust, a foundation of unwavering reliability. In the sixth law, we confront the temptations of substances that promise an escape from pain. The warning is clear. Alcohol and drugs may provide temporary relief, but they do not contribute to lasting strength or wisdom. Pythagoras, a mathematician and philosopher, reminds us that the strength of the mind resides in sobriety. True freedom, we are told, can only be achieved by confronting our inner struggles. While life presents challenges, overcoming them is the crucible in which wisdom and strength are forged. The seventh and final law implores us to accept full responsibility for our own lives, a concept profoundly echoed by Jean-Paul Sartre, a 20th century existentialist philosopher who famously stated, man is condemned to be free. This law underscores that no savior is coming to rescue us and external circumstances are not the sole determinants of our thoughts and actions. Embracing autonomy and agency is a key component of the human experience. Sartre's existential philosophy, which champions the idea of radical freedom and choice, aligns seamlessly with this law's message, emphasizing that we are ultimately responsible for the meaning we ascribe to our lives. By internalizing the notion that we alone are the architects of our destinies, we recognize that blaming others or making excuses only distorts our thought processes and undermines our potential for personal growth. This law challenges us to take charge of our lives, to envision and actively pursue the paths that align with our aspirations and values. In doing so, we embark on the profound journey of self-creation and self-determination, turning the canvas of existence into our greatest masterpiece. In conclusion, the philosophical laws of wisdom remind us that the pursuit of wisdom is not a solitary endeavor. It is a collective journey that spans generations and cultures. By heeding the wisdom of the great thinkers who came before us, we continue the timeless quest for enlightenment, ever evolving and ever enriching our lives and the world around us. <laughs>